Combine the surface of the moon with Mordor and add a little bit of Mars in there and you get a good idea what the terrain's like. Um, it's pretty hilly, there's giant rocks all over the place, it's a lava field. It's a great place to twist an ankle, but uh, if you manage to come out of it unscathed, it's, it's a pretty good training. It's pretty good training. It's a great range, I like it. You start off in the assembly area. You know, everybody's keyed up, ready to go. You get the, the call to move. You run up about 500 meters to your first support by fire position with a squad of uh, riflemen in front of you carrying a bunch of extra ammo. Uh, they set all the ammo down. You get the gun set up on the tripod just below the crest of the hill. And then as soon as you get the go ahead from your squad leader, you grab the gun, you grab the tripod, and you sprint up to the top of the hill. You know, you crest the hill finally, set your gun in, identify your targets go condition one and start schwacking targets. Uh, so range 10 is supposed to train us uh, up to uh, platoon levels, uh, possibly higher. Either section platoon attacks, uh, sweeping down the entire range uh, with various uh, targetry along the way and a large trench system at the end. Up on that ridge line, second gun suppressing the MDP. Move us, Pete. Much of that trench system uh, for our section, it was, it's come much of a blur for most of the guys there. Um, they were well and truly fingered by that stage and uh, yeah, a lot of them were just going through the motions, but yeah, obviously um, the job was still on, so we had to just stay, remain focused and motivated to finish her off. O351s are pretty much in support of the O311s. We can provide anti-armor capabilities and also breaching houses, doors. Left side breach down the tape. Left side breach! Left side breach! Left side breach! Yeah, shooting rockets for me is when you should look back and clear the back blast and you like scream rocket and then when that rocket goes down and you feel like the overpressure and you just see the big dust kick up, it's, it's pretty exhilarating. You really feel a, a nicer kick to it. During the day, we use laws and AT4s. They're most primarily an 0311 kind of rocket, but we did employ the Mark 153 small. It's 83 millimeter smooth bore recoilless rocket. Yes, yes, yes! Well, I have pretty much first time experience with that because it's just my luck. Every time they throw gas and it comes in right at my feet. But this this time on range 10, I don't know what it was, but it, it felt a lot worse. It was uh, hands were burning, back was burning. And it was just like when you're down in the trench, it's just like you can't really go anywhere, especially when you're looking around and you're seeing guys like trying to jump out. And at the same time, I laugh at it. It's pretty funny. So, but yeah, this round of gas was pretty tough. <laughs>